Welcome rugby league fans to Dolphin Stadium. I'm I'm your host Robert Bergen with State of Origin legend, Super League man of steel, Adrian Vows. How's it doing today, Vowsy? Yeah, great, mate. Uh, winter's finally here. I think uh, come a bit early. It's quite a chilly day here in Redcliffe, but uh, a great day for footy. So we're here to uh, commentate on the national under 18s final. We have the red uh, the home of the Redcliffe Dolphins, Dolphin Stadium hosting the Queensland champions, the South Logan Magpies, up against the New South Wales champions of the Penrith Panthers. Uh, I might uh, start off by running through the South Logan uh, team. They, uh, at fullback, will be number one, Tessie New, who we saw last week scored two tries, and he also scored two tries in the uh, Melmaninga Cup semi-final. Number two, Levi Sutton. He's got a high work rate. Ezra Coulston at centre, along with Iwani Suli. Uh, Junior Finau on the other wing. In the halves, Paul Karatawana and Tanner Boyd. Amosi Takiri up front with the other prop, Lance Bagon. Jet Trembath at hooker. In the second row, we've got Vincent Takataka and David Fafita at lock, Cruise 10. On the bench today will be Bailey Bartley, uh, Isaiah Runga Iti, Callum McDonald and Josiah Taufinu. Last week, uh, the Magpies defeated North 18-16 in what was a gripping Melmaninga Cup final. Uh, as we mentioned, Tessie New scored two tries in the second half as they came from 16-6 down. They'll be up against a Penrith team that more comfortably accounted for the Bulldogs. They, they beat them 25-14 in the SG Ball final. Bit of controversy in that one. The Bulldogs had uh, Logan Dillon sent off with 25 minutes to go for an eye gouge. Haven't seen one of those for a while, Adrian. What about yourself? No, I can't remember the last time that I was probably seen an eye gouge uh, in a game of footy, and you don't really want to see that in, in our game either. And it's probably something that's, you know, probably back in the 90s. Or you'd probably be the last time I, I would have heard of something like that. Maybe and, uh, you thought it was retro round or something. Well, we, they do a lot of retro stuff, so whatever's old is new again, I guess. Uh, we'll run through that Penrith Panthers side. The fullback is Charlie Staines. Number two is Zachary Sini. Number three is Matthew Fayula. In the centre, Stephen Crichton. He's the younger brother of Christian Crichton, the uh, Penrith Panthers first grader. On the wing, Ethan Clark Wood. At number six, Matt Burton. And number seven is Hayden Bonanno. Number eight is Luke Peru. Number nine, Maurice Trindle. His father, Craig Trindle, a former Penrith first grader. Uh, number 10 is Patrick Nakuri. 11 is Ratu Nanuvu. Number 12 is Chase Chapman. 13 is the captain, Sean Bloor. On the bench, 14, Sadie Sublaban, 15, Thomas Farr, 16, Braden McGelly, and wearing number 19 will be Jordan Eshman. Uh, interesting one there is number 15, Thomas Farr. He's actually a Rockhampton Brothers boy. He was, uh, he was poached to go down to Penrith last year, um, and I believe he's, he's still got a year to go in this age group. Uh, he's, he's got a few highlights videos floating around on the old internet of, of him scoring long-range tries, and they say last week, because he's... He's coming off the bench as a bit of a backline specialist. He only got 90 seconds last week, so let's hope he, he gets a bit more time on the paddock today. Yeah, it'd be good to see. I'm sure he's uh, got a lot of family that will make the trip here to watch him play here at Redcliffe. And, uh, yeah, it's a great little story for him. And, well, I don't know, if you're a South Logan Magpie, you probably don't want him to get more than 90 seconds in the game. If he's that fast, you want to leave him on the bench. But, yeah, it's interesting what... Uh, a lot of these players' background is where they come from, what they've uh, done, and, and also any other sports that they've played as well. Because I, 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 I'm a big believer that you should, as a kid, you should play a number of sports. I just think it helps your body develop. You use different muscles, and it also just just your reaction, how you how you you do things. I think all other sports tend to help the main sport that you're playing. Uh, there's the hooter, and uh, just on that topic, we mentioned last week Jet Trembath, the hooker for South Logan. He did come through Jimboomba Little Athletics, um, but the the back row of Vincent Tucker Tucker, he's also a he was a representative discus thrower. So, a few little uh, side sidelines there for them uh, to keep their athletic prowess growing. In terms of this Penrith Panthers side, I've been told that yeah, that Stephen Crichton, the uh, centre, is one to look out for. Uh, He's a goal kicker. Um, they've got a few boys they brought in from the bush, which they rate highly as well. Charlie Staines and Matt Burton. Uh, Burton being from Dubbo, Staines from Forbes. Um, so that gives them that real country 
country flavour that Penrith's been known for, I guess. Yeah, and I think if the if the you know a lot of those country boys, particularly if they're playing in the forwards, are quite tough. So you know, that'll be uh, ones to to look out for today. And it's interesting that Penrith have recruited from the country. They're, they're they've got a very big junior base there, and 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 over the years they're probably one of the stronger stronger juniors in that Sydney competition. And this will be they'll be a a very tough contest today for the South uh, Logan Magpies. We just watched them warming up out there before, and we commented on the body shapes. You could say the the Penrith side were the, the more sort of stocky looking, the thicker set side, and uh, South Logan definitely got a big pack, but they, they sort of tend to be more that big, rangy size, yeah? Yeah, they yeah, like you said, they're just big, but they're a lot more solid, and across the park, probably height-wise and size-wise, they're a lot bigger than this... Uh, in the south side but i'll tell you what we, you know we talked about cruise 10 to 13 for south logan last week he was my man of the match i thought he was outstanding and it's going to be a, a good little contest that he has have he's not the biggest bloke but i'll tell you what he's strong he's fast and, and he gets that offload away which can cause the bigger forwards of, of opposition teams trouble and he doesn't stop trying and a lot of times in football that's your, your greatest asset if you're up, if you're up against it, you need one of those guys in the pack that just keeps carrying you forward constantly. Yeah, and as a teammate, they're the ones you look up to. They're the ones that drive you uh, to keep working hard because you see that they, you know, they just they don't stop and a bit like the Energizer Bunny. So Penrith running out onto the field now. Dolphin Stadium's a bit of a, a unique one in in terms of Queensland local grounds because you get to run out through the tunnel. It's one of one of the favourites for the kids to play at because you feel like you're a superstar. I was often worried about that tunnel I ran it. Was, it's so dark, you're worried about getting mugged when you come out. It's that long. And <laughs> I think uh, when it used to be the old corrugated iron around the outside of the tunnel, you, you wondered if it was going to collapse under the weight of the old hill. But here come the uh, South Logan Magpies, led out by David Fafita. He has been well contained the last two weeks, firstly by the Tweed Head Seagulls in the semi final and uh, then by North Devils in the Melbourne Inga Cup final. But he's a special talent. Yeah, he certainly is. And I'd like to just see, as I said last week, South just really mix their game up. On, uh, use both sides of the field rather than just going to the right side. If they're going to go to the right side, don't be always giving it to David Fafita. Like just sometimes just give him a dummy and and look for an inside ball or hit, hit wider early. Um, you know, if you keep using him too much, you certainly take that, uh, you take the power out of him as well. And if you, for viewers uh, at home, if you're not familiar with Dolphin Stadium, is going through uh, significant redevelopment at the moment. So if you see that scaffolding in the background, that's the reason why we are on the side where all the uh, spectators are. And it's a fairly decent crowd in what is a, uh, a, f a good day too for football. And the kickoff, Tanner Boyd takes it and fed straight on to Lance Bagan. He'll take the first hit up of the game. South Logan looking to spread to the left early. Tanner Boyd controls it again. Oh, they've gone two passes, dropped on the ground. Oh, instant dividends for Maurice Trindle. And he scores within a matter of seconds. So within the first 30 seconds of the game, Maurice Trindle has come up with a ball after a spilled on a... He's tried to turn the man back under. Yeah, that's probably not what you, definitely not what you want at, at the start of a game. It's going to be... Uh, you want it to get that first set out of the way and get a nice kick and then do some tackling. But now South are under the pump, which, as we'll just have a look at the replay, he just took his eyes off the ball there a little bit, Vincent Takataka, and uh, unfortunately came up with the error, but... If I was the, they're only young, I guess, but if I was the, the captain or, or the trainer coming out there, and I would say, don't worry, it's the first minute of the game. There's, there's a lot more left in this game. Just regroup and have a good defensive set now. Yeah, the, the good thing now is they get to kick off. They get to have a few collisions in defence, and that often makes you a bit more warmer for the game and uh, you ease your way into it. Receiving when uh, the, there was a bit of a chill no, in the wind, thing, uh, your hands can be a bit cold, but... Full credit to Penrith for applying the pressure early. Yeah, I don't think as a coach uh, you, you expect your team to score in the first straight from the kickoff, but uh, that's what's happened to Penrith, and that's a great start for them. So Crichton is lining up. There's a slight breeze in the air, but it's not as dominant as last week at Bishop Park. 
he's going to go left foot here. Easing his way into it. And no. away to the right of the post. So the score will remain at four points to nil in favour of Penrith. And we're only two minutes into it now. So that's a bonus for them. It's uh, four points down. As I said, still plenty of time in this game. First minute, just watch this replay. Turns him under. Right idea. Just uh, execution wasn't that good. And then uh, a nice try there by Trindle. Deep kickoff. Almost a collision between the Penrith players, but they'll take this back out. Looks like Patrick Nakuri, his uh, brother's Penrith product. Fed out. Off. So Matthew Fayula taking the pressure off of his forwards, and more than that, gets a penalty. And that was caused just because he made that little half break and he was trying to hold on too long cruise 10 and gave away the penalty and it's not what you want either you know you, you really need that that defensive set to be a good one they've let uh, Penner off the hook straight away they'll need to hold out on this set you can go one try down and come back two tries is makes it all the more difficult just keep that line uh, the South Logan Magpies need to keep that straight line move up as a line well, you can see Jet Trembath uh, reeling out of that tackle there. He's pushed back. Well, Mossa Takiri in that with Lance Bagon, trying to take down the Penrith runner. They're looking wide now, good angles. Step back inside from Fayula, who really started the momentum for this set. He's gone the blind side. Zacharocini. Interesting one, uh, played New South Wales under 16's origin and was coached by Brad Fitler at that stage. Last tackle here. They've gone for the kick in, that's a rebound but not played at. Oh no, yeah, referee has ruled played at. Well, that was a bit of a tough call. Mm. On the South Saga Magpies. Didn't, didn't have much of a chance to react to that. 12 is chopped down just short, but it's looking a little ominous at this stage. They just need a few more shoulders and tackles and direct body contact. Hooker looks to the left. They've got themselves set, but that passes. And they've worked themselves out. Tanner Boyd giving chase. He's a competitor, Boyd, but he's shrugged off in that instance by Ethan Clarkwood. Good defence by South. They made 15 metres on that defence play. I wonder if they, they count that in your stats. Do you get the negative 15 metres? Uh, I'd hope so. <laughs> well, and he's let that go, so they'll have the dropout. And he was quite oh, sorry, lucky the, there because the uh, Trindle just tripped over. And I reckon it'd have been a foot race if he hadn't, if he had got through that gap. But uh, well, kept off by the South Logan Magpies. Now Levi Sutton brings it out. Another scoot. They're working their way towards Penrith territory. Trembath at hooker. Sends it wide. Tanner Boyd. Oh, they've spilt the ball. I think they got in the way of each other there. Mossy Takiri and uh, David Fafita. Yeah, there's a hand hit the ball as well from the uh, Penrith player, which forced it out. Penrith doing really well with their uh, post-contact metres here. They keep that leg drive going. Well cut down by Cruz 10, but he didn't have a hand in the tackle, so they've got to quick play the ball. I guess the other thing as well, Rob, is these pretty sure a number of these players played midweek too with the school, which certainly doesn't help when you're coming into a game. Yeah, I think Coach Jace Van Dyke mentioned that last week. They would have limited preparation for this game. Uh, in Penrith's defence, I've heard they, they've also had quite a few injuries, including to their captain and vice-captain that won't be playing today. So it's Lindsay Smith and Spencer Leonard uh, who are out. Oh. They put through the grubber. I believe that's Chase Chapman has touched down. Well, it was a nice little kick from Hayden Bonanno. He's done a couple of them today as well, and 
That, that kick was just beautiful. Nice and soft off the boot as you watch this replay. Beautiful little kick. Threads the gap. Nice chase by Chase Chapman to score that try for Penrith. And it's no coincidence now. You see the way they can control the, the kick so it bounces at the opportune time. They, they train for this constantly, don't they? Yeah, they do. And they can make it roll one way and roll the other way. And Whereas when I played, you just kicked and hoped. <laughs> Here's the replay again. The banana puts that cook through, kick through and it holds up for Chapman. Jack, good start, mate. Good uh, follow through by Chapman. Um, again, another great start here really well. by the Penrith Panthers. Uh, they certainly Penrith. come to do a job. They've and at the moment, so they're doing it in the at middle, ease. Um, they've been a little bit, probably one step. For so those unfamiliar with the under-18s format, we will play yeah, 35 minute halves. So that, uh, it does play a hand. The time does get away from you a little bit quicker in these games when you're looking to come back. But South did it last week, so there's every possibility they can do it again. Will Crichton have more success this time? Similar position, maybe three or four metres closer. You reckon he'd be nervous? A little. They need some people on those balconies up there uh, waving. Yep. Ooh, he's, he's potted it, but it wasn't too far off that post. So with just over seven minutes gone, it's ten points to nil in favour of the Penrith Panthers, who've done well, travelled up here. After uh, a successful SG Ball final, beating the Bulldogs 25-14 to be New South Wales champions. So a deep kick-off again, he's almost... Almost juggled that. He nearly overran it then to Corey. He's a big um, big lump of a lad as well. Gets a good go forward for his team. I've been told to watch out for when uh, number 16, Braden McGelly, comes off the bench. He's, he's younger than the others, but a bit of a blockbuster when he runs the ball. Bagon trying to control the forward there. Matt Burton finds his man and he takes some bringing down as well. Good contact there. Consistently down in this territory. Big bomb, Fanatesi, sorry, Junior Finna that is. He's up to the task. It's a good take, he was under all sorts of pressure. And there's a is a swirling breeze here today as well, so it's a nice take by him and good confidence booster. Next to me and hold, hold. They'd love a penalty here, the South Sligo Magpies. Yep. Good run here. Oh, Tanner Boyd. Oh, we send that to Junior Finau, but Finau's dropped it. That's and not a knock on. Pass was okay, but it's a knock on Tanner. No, so the referee now. said the pass is okay, but David. knock on there by Junior Finau. Again, I think that was a tough call. I don't think that ball went forward. Comes here. Nice break by Tanner Boyd. We saw last here. week and the last couple of weeks how quick he is off the mark. You watch him go there, just half a gap straight through. Nice little pass there too, but Junior for now just wasn't watching the ball. Again, I don't know how that went forward. So this scrum will take place just over the South Logan side of halfway. Hands and square, weight six. South 12. Referee's Let's looking go, for a good feed. And Penrith looking to build on a, a very promising 10 0 lead early in this game. So bustled forward there by Nakuri. And he does take three men again to bring him down. Oh, straight through. Matt Burton through the inside, too fast, under the posts. And that's try number three. Less than 12 minutes into the game. It just comes down to those errors that they're making. And as again, I said, I thought it was a tough call on the Magpies, but that was uh, a great individual try by Matt Burton. He looks like he's going to pass left. Dummies and goes. Bit of pace, nice left foot step. Nice try under the post. 
diving attempt at ankle tap there by Fafita, but he did slice between uh, Fafita and Boyd. Yeah, it didn't it? So, you know, it was an error at the start from the from the kickoff, which resulted in a try, and then it was, a, a, you know, the next set was a penalty, and then just a very disappointing uh, start for the Magpies. They've just got to try and regroup and just try and get one try back, second try back, and then go from there. But I tell you what, this Penrith Panthers team, they're here to play. They're going to be very hard to peg back. The, world, the word through the uh, QRL corridors during the week was that this Penrith team was going to be one of the best that had come up here in the junior age groups. So uh, they're sticking true to that. I've got to give uh, Nakori a wrap there. He, he got him on the good go forward there. It was a nice run, 10, 12 metre run. Quick play the ball. They played off the back of that, which gave Burton that space. You know, and he, he threw a nice little dummy and then shot through a gap. We've mentioned his size, but he took two decent hit-ups then too. So he's, he's having a big dig with his, uh, in terms of work rate as well. Crichton to attempt to make it 16-0. And he does so. He's going straight onto the balcony at the uh, Dolphins Leagues Club. And he's put that replay again. Just nice turn of speed. Untouched under the post. He's been good so far as well, Matt Burton. I like what he's done on down that left hand edge with the ball. Yeah, both of the halves have positioned their outside men well, and that that's what happens when you space people out. You uh, open up opportunities like that. Corey again. Good run. So can South hold them down this end? That would uh, nice aid their tackle. confidence. They're lining up again. Mossy Takiri with the shutdown and Fafita alongside him. No, they've got the offload free. bloor has been very good today. The 13 for South as well. Gets good yards, nice offload in that situation. So I know Bloor, um, his brother, Dean Bloor, plays up uh, for Penrith Panthers. He's one of their big hopefuls for the future. And uh, they, they rate both of the, the brothers as, as good, steady leaders. Oh, good catch up. Nice kick there from Kindle. Good kick chase, but good return from South. Levi Sutton with the first one, followed up by Tessie New. With the backs are getting him out of a bit of trouble here. Let's see some forwards roll over the top. No, that's Ayani Suri. Good yardage. Great set here from South and get a penalty on the back end of that. That's what you want. That was good work from their backs. They made plenty of yards and the forwards have been doing a lot of defence. The backs have come in and had a good speed set. This will bring a bit of confidence to the team. Tanner Boyd adds maybe 15 metres on there. They're going to take this just inside the 30 metre line. Trembath with the tap. Taka Taka runs the front runner. And then they go out the back instead to Isaiah Runga Itty. Trembath centre of the field. Sets for Cruz 10. Runs back in. High sort of arm. Flicks the ball out the back. You'd just follow him around everywhere, wouldn't you? You know he's going to get an offload away. And Paratuana sets his... Oh, that's not the best of balls there. Real opportunity there, but I feel as if uh, Ezra Coulson may have taken the line himself. Yeah, I think in the past it's just just too hard, wasn't it? But the idea was certainly right. Going down that left side. So see there, yeah. a little bit spaced out. Let's do the same thing. Fundraisers are last to go. I think they'll be confident to go down there again. Let's go here. South Rocks, Disappointed that they didn't get Watch some sort of there. result there. The flip side to Penrith, having so much ball early is they, they haven't had to do a lot of tackling. So if South can attack them while they're still cold in the shoulders, there's the chance of getting uh, some yardage. 
line needs a step. Yeah, mate, thank you. Spread towards the left edge again. Tanner Boyd Tanner brings him down. Hold! Go to. Souths really need someone to put that big sort of shot on to assert their authority, put a little bit of doubt inside the uh, Penrith Mines. Yeah, they're certainly making um, easy yards at the moment. Yeah, they constantly got Souths on the, the back pedal here, and that's making sure their forwards are hitting the advantage line every time and getting over the 10 metres. Jordan Eshman is on now, the 19. High kick by Burton. Oh. But says good, he knew up to it. That was a good take. That ball was doing everything bar going where it should have went. It was uh, swirling in the air, spinning. It's a good take. We saw Chase Chapman with uh, the second try of the day, and he's done well there. Two good tackles in a row. Levi Sutton. Good run. Oh. It's got a bit of the, the Mahe Fanua about yeah. him, Levi Sutton. How good was he the other night? Next to me here and hold. Go, tackle four. Good story just shows, uh, you know, yourself okay, having yeah. spent a bit of time in Super League, ha having that experience coming back. We've seen a, a few players do it now. Sam Moa did it successfully. Look, I, I believe if, you know, if you really want to learn as a player, go over and play in the UK Super League. And, you, know, you can always come back, and I think you'll come back a better player because they play a different style of footy, and I, I actually believe you fall in love with the game a little bit more over there. Yeah, it's, a, it's that kind of, it's a real community culture, isn't it, around football? Yeah. And you, you, it's almost like you're back playing your, your suburban footy. And, Everybody knows everybody, and yeah, it's, oh, it's hard to describe it. You know, the noise they make at games in England is just, you know, you, you run out just to warm up and they're singing songs, let alone when you're playing the game. And don't get me wrong, if you lose, they're not, the, they can turn on you, but overall, it's, I think it's a good experience. Even for halfbacks, I'd, I'd send, I'd, if I was a young halfback, like I'd, I'd actually like to see Jackson Hastings head over to England to uh, just to you know, get his game in order. Oh, we saw Blake Green was one of those playmakers. Shot. Ezra Coulston, nice tackle there. Yeah, well, that's right. And he's came back much more confident as a player. Good, solid contact there. So Isaiah Rung at Etienne, Cruz 10. They're going to go a mid-range kick there, but Tessie New's in good position to shut it down. And he's around his outside man. Oh, too quick. He's good, isn't he? I love watching the way he, he returns the footy. He caught Luke Peru for pace there up the middle. For feeder with the ball. Good run. That's what you really want to see too. It, you don't really want to waste your star player hanging on the edge too much. Sometimes you've got to get in and inspire your teammates. That's right. You've got to earn your, earn your keep. You, if you're a leader by your actions, you'll get many more followers. Well, Arne Suley. This is perhaps the third strong run we've seen from him. He's possibly been South Logan's best so far. Like an extra forward, isn't he? I thought they could have got a penalty there. The referee's asked him to walk it back and play it again. South setting up on the right. Tunner Boyd. He's got a low driving kick down towards the try line. Junior Finnau giving chase. Can he trap him in there? No, I think he's he's just got two metres out from the try line, so good work by both players there. Nice kick by Tanner Boyd, just pulled up beautifully in the in goal area. Nice tackle around the laces. You can hear the crowd starting to come into this a bit more. But relieving penalty for Penrith. And they seem to be getting some penalties coming out, Penrith and Certainly giving a leg up into the set. And as you mentioned earlier, that, that does have to do with a little bit of them being able to get over the top in the play of the ball, and it, it makes us a little bit more desperate to slow them down. It's a pretty good contest. I know the score lines is 16 0, but it's still a pretty good contest. And I think South are just starting to get into the game, and if they can hold out Penrith here. Nice contact up top, Lance Bagon with uh, Fafita down low. This is Eshman on the field. He's a sizable human being. 
They've called six again on that. He hit his arm, not the ball. Strip, strip. The first knock on is against South. There's no there's no advantage. I'd like to see the replay of that. I, I didn't think he hit the ball. I thought he's hit the arm. Oh, we've got first knock on. Oh, yeah, one of the Penrith players doing a Tarzan impersonation yeah. there. He didn't hit the ball, so. He's, he's done nothing wrong, mate. He's, he stood out and tried to pass That's the ball. a tough call. There's been a couple of tough calls against South to, today. Mm. And you'd almost say that second carry was a bit loose as well. Right yeah. here, but we go by the referee's whistle. Let's go, South Lock all the way, mate. Just wait. South with the feed 20 metres out, middle of the field, and they've gone the right side. Charlie Staines. So Forbes Magpies plays country under 16s. Here's the big unit, Eshman. From St. Patrick's. Bonanno calls it wide. Good defence. Banano again controlling it. 13, Sean Bloor feeds it out. This looks like the fullback again. Yeah, the fullback again testing them. But up to the task. Zachary Sini into dummy half. Feeds it to Banano, to Burton. Up wider. Nice collision there. That's Ratu Nanavu. And Burton to send it skywards. Bat back. Zissini with the ball. And he's gone through the middle of four defenders there. They were looking to cover the edges, but forgot about the middle. Yeah, it was a nice kick. Well placed kick. Yeah, cheers. Which made they had to get a contest, and Penrith knocked it back. Sini comes up with a try, untouched nearly. He's just hanging out of the back. Nice work there. South really left a gap there. You okay. could see both players went for the ball, and aside from them two, it was left to cover. I think it was Hayden Banano that knocked the ball back to seven for Penrith. And that's not what uh, the Magpies wanted. They needed to hold him out. So Sini, um, he is that uh, New South Wales... Under 16 origin rep. Uh, he's from the Minchinbury Jets and in good position there. Looks certainly like he's got a bit of uh, speed about him whenever he's touched the ball. And Penrith out to a 20 0 lead with kick to come. Nothing to report, mate. All good. Um, just keep solid till half time, yep. mate. Yep. Yeah, that was the longest period of time uh, South had held them out, so 12 minutes there without a score against them. But seeing the 2-0 on the scoreboards, it's a difficult one. If there's any, probably, as you see in a lot of these junior games, Rob, is that teams can get out to a, to a big, uh, big lead and get pegged back. That was good hands by me catching that paper. Yeah, Adrian's uh, game notes have just flown away and he's plucked a one-hander out of the air beautifully. Crichton slices that inside the post. And Penrith Panthers lead 22 points to nil. And yeah, nice here, Hayden Manano gets up, knocks it back. And then it's just open space there for Sini. Stay behind. Tessie knew we'd have raved about him a bit the last few weeks. He's been outstanding, but twice there where the ball's been in open territory and the fullbacks have not been uh, exactly where you'd like him. Good shot. This is your, your uh, favourite, Callum McDonald on now, oh, number 16. On. Well, he's about 7 foot 10. 10. Right. Oh, I'd hate to be feeding the big unit. Tanner, roll clear! Next man, hold, go to. If ben Simmons goes down injured. 76 is okay. a chance to replace him. David Cleaner! Right. Next to me, 14. Hold, go three. I haven't been that high as what he is. He's a tall human. It's okay, arms around. It's very raw to rugby league as well. Came from Union. And square markers. Hold, go tackle four. Yeah, Sousa decided, described him as a bit of a, a project player. He'll get better the more last time he spends in the game. Here, yeah, hold markers. Go last. Not player. Oh. Oh. Playing a nice... 
Left side in front. Okay, so offside there from the kick, but it was a good All mature set by them. They could have yeah, gone mate. for the fancy play being 22 nil up, but um, tried to consolidate with the kick through after rucking the ball out. South Logan's chance to show what they can do now. Well, it is a big set, isn't it? It's um, just trying to get a result at the end of it, whether it's a a kicking goal for another set of six or a try would be nice, but just really put the pressure on Penrith and make them defend. This is Callum McDonald taking the hit up, straight up the centre. He's taken three men. But it's a, a slowish play, the ball. Cruz 10 with the ball. I'd like him to find his elbows and knees just to give him a bit of momentum here. Tanner Boyd calls for it to the right. McDonald again. Good defence by Penrith, shutting him down. So Bailey Bartley is on it, hooker for the Magpies. Benatessi New spreads it wide. Karatuana. And this will be the last tackle out of hooker. He's gone the blind side. They've got an overlap here. So Coulston. Coulston's gone for the corner. That looks like it's going to be the first try of the day. It is for the South Logan Magpies. That was nice work. Looked like it was going to go right to Tanner Boyd to kick. Number two. The Bailey Bartley brings it back down the blind side, and Ezra Coulson still a lot of work to do. He gets the ball down there, as you see. Yeah, that was even more difficult opportunity than the last time when that, that pass went astray. He had some work to do. Uh, both showed. Uh, Slide of hand and uh, fast feet, a bit of strength. Power his way through the defence. I did say last time, uh, if they went back there again, that they'd, they'd, they'd fancy their chances because, as you said, it was a there was a, a chance going begging last time, and they've gone back there again, albeit a little bit harder, and come up with a first four pointer for the game. Yeah, I think Fayula's possibly giving him a little bit too much space on that right shoulder, and uh, the footwork of Coulston's found him out twice. Yep. So Tanner Boyd. Chat's good on that kick That's back. just what they needed too, South. They got the penalty, which allowed them to get up the field. And they waited till the last tackle to come up with their first try of the game. And would you believe it that the breeze has been, it's been pretty mediocre all for out, but it's just picked up now as he's taking this kick. And he's managed to get that to swing back the other way. So that'll make it 22 points to six. A little bit of hope for South Logan with about five minutes to go until half time. It was a nice pass from Paul Caratuana as well. He uh, he got it where it needed to go, and which is, which I think he does well. And he also looks dangerous when he takes the line on, which I like to see him do a little bit more. Charlie Staines gets us underway gone right into the corner there found Dave Fafita running the ball back oh he sees big palm come out today let's hope so Callum McDonald can't take anything away from him he's certainly got stuck in well I think he's taken on a bit of a leader's role here today he's, since he's come on he's just getting a good go forward nice run there Bailey from Bartley. Bailey Bartley there's Karatawana with the footwork Trying to work that left side again. He's managed to stay in just. Levi Sutton here. He'll take a scoot. He doesn't mind running. The strong legs power him through. Now he's pleading to the referee, but getting on with it is probably the best course of action. Karatuana plays it short. I don't mind that, uh, South. I've just come back where they attacked, and a lot of teams don't expect it. Boyd with the step back, they'll want to... Oh, and he's shut down last tackle. Yeah, just, ne just need to get to that kick there. That's a really important there that they got to that kick. Make them come out of their own... from their own try line. Yeah, don't, don't like how they set up defensively the, either there. They, uh, this left McDonald as one marker to start with. If, if uh, Penrith had got that underway quickly, it would have been easy metres up the middle. Release 
Is there a wrong at Itty? He's added some aggression since he's come on defence. Cruz 10 wraps him up. With Bailey Bartley assisting. They're just getting caught there. They're in the mark because they've got to work. They've got to just split. Get in front of your man. Hold him that little bit longer. You can see that they're out on their feet. They're just getting back there. 10 without being able to power off the line in defence. Balls in. Junior Finau cleans up. Under pressure. Well done. Nice kick again from... On the left side that time from Matt Burton and another set of six and that's what South probably needed to do down the other end. But they, you're right, they're looking tired. South because they have had to do a lot of defence in this game already. Penrith have had the momentum for the majority of the game. It's, it's one of those strange days when you're playing footy. It's got a little bit of chill in the air but the sun's out and sometimes... It, it takes the, the sweat off you and it makes you feel quite odd, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a strange sensation when you're trying to run around and perspire, but you, you're not actually sweating. And the wind's chilling you at the same time you're trying to warm up. It, uh, I enjoyed it when there's a little bit more warm. You can see Penrith have definitely got that fight in the tackle. They keep, keep powering through after they uh, reach the first shoulder. Well taken by the winger. Thrown that out the back and they've cleaned up. They're not taking their foot off the accelerator at all, Penrith. Staines has been good for Penrith as well, the one. Yep. They've gone back to that short side. Tanner Boyd with the intercept. Can he get clear? Oh, that's great pace shown by the hooker there from Penrith. So Tanner Boyd almost at halfway. I'd like a penalty. Ione Surly. They're going it. across. Oh, if you can get it out there, they're still, still on this left-hand yep. side if they can get the ball out quick. And this defender out here, uh, Bonanno, is blowing hard as well. Take him on, take him on. Tessie New splits through. He's running away, and you can hear the crowd get behind him. Solid contact at the end, but that's a, a very successful try, and you can feel the elation. Well, that's against the run and play there for South. Came off the back of a Tanner Boyd break down the other side of the field, on the right-hand side of the field. Then they played off the back of that, came down their left edge. Still had a lot of work to do. Just big palm, left-hand palm. Off balance, palm again. Good speed. Got whacked through his troubles at the end, but nice try. Yeah, Tessie New. Watch the way Tessie New uh, controls the ball there and puts himself in a position to get the palm away. Uh, just great flexibility, really, as well as power. Yeah, that's right. A lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of players, even in the senior grade, struggle to do that. So, but here it is. Here, this is what sets it up. A nice run from Tanner Boyd. Had a lot of work to do. We, we thought once he got it, that it might have been a foot race to the end, but he got pegged down. And, but they just play off the back of this. Nice yardage. And Sayuli, who's done a lot of work, as we say. Another big right-hand fend. Love, I love a fend. I think it's one of the most unused weapons in footy. And Karatuana sends it out the back. And as you say, just watch what he does with the fend and the ball. Presence of mind as to where he is. Where he is. And good speed. How <laughs> about that, that shot he's taken from the fullback there? That's a great there. tackle yeah. from Staines coming across. But Tessie knew had done enough by that stage. Gets the goal. Santa Boyd with the conversion will take us into half time. 22 points to 12, which looks a lot better than it did at 22 points to nil. Well, that's right. You're going in 22 points to 12. You've got a little bit of momentum because that's a good try. That's a try that can lift the team, and I think it will. Really important, but is the start when they come out for this second half. If you've joined us on the live stream, I'll run through the try scorers in that first half. Uh, so Maurice Trindle, he dived over even before 30 seconds were on the clock. South Logan trying to turn the ball back under on their own try line and the, it went astray. Uh, Crichton missed the conversion, so that was an early 4-0 lead. Chase Chapman then pounced on a grubber from a Hayden Bonanno kick in the seventh minute uh, with Crichton converting for a 10-0 lead. They went ahead to 14-0 uh, and then 16-0 after Matt Burton sliced through and Crichton converted. 
uh, then to power on to that 22-0 advantage that we mentioned. Uh, Bonanno jumped high for a kick from Burton. He knocked it back for uh, the winger, Zach Rossini, and he found a big gap out on the edge, uh, diving over for the 22-0 advantage. But in the last six minutes of the game, South Logan managed to score two tries. Ezra Coulson, who found some space down the, uh, the left side early, he managed to power over, uh, did a fair bit of work to get the ball through, and Tanaboy converted from out wide for a 22-6 scoreline. Then just on half time, an intercept by Tanner Boyd uh, set up a long run then by Fanatesi Nu, who palmed his men and beat uh, three defenders on the way through to the line. Tanner Boyd converted and the score is 22 points to 12. And we've suddenly got a contest. And after last week where South Logan came from 16-6 down, they're again in a position where they've, they've got a 10 point deficit at half time. So it's not, it's not all hope lost. No, I think anything's possible and as I said just before, uh, with it, you find with these younger games, teams tend to can switch off, and when they switch off, it's nothing to score 14 points, you know. And uh, but this is a pretty good Penrith side, and I think they'll 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 go in there and regroup, and they're going to be tough in the second half. But I think Souths have got enough spirit in that side, and enough definitely enough potential uh, to to win this game. But at the moment, Penrith are looking really good. Who stood out for you so far? Yeah, I've been uh, really happy with the front rower, Nakori, for uh, Penrith. I think he's been really strong as as the 13 for Penrith. Sean Bloor, I think they've been good go forward, um, and that allows Trindle, the nine, to play off the back of that, as well as Burton and, and Bonanno, the halves, and I think they've been good. Staines for Penrith, the fullback, I thought he's been great at the back. For South Slogan, you know, you can't go past Tessie New. Sutton and Sulu uh, Suli has been really good as well for now. Getting lots of yards out of the back. Tanner Boyne's been good. Mm. Um, I feel Callum McDonald really, he helped change things around when he came off the bench there. Yeah, he took it, as I said earlier, he took it as like a, like a leadership role, isn't it? Which is, that's good, you know, for, for a kid who's not a rugby league background, a come from Union, and just the difference from last week to this week, he's got confidence out of last week and said, well, I'm going to take it upon myself and at stage is taking two hit ups in a set of six and when you've got someone who's six foot six that starts running through the middle like that people tend to follow yeah and you know, and you would eh? and that's what i said you you lead by your actions and he's certainly doing that and he is a leader today uh, we haven't um seen the, the full uh extent of, of both benches yet so uh it'll be interesting in the second half how they use those we mentioned that penrith do have number 15 thomas farr who's a is a queensland boy only got 90 seconds in the New South Wales final last week. Be interested to see how he goes. Uh, apparently he was a Central Queensland touch footy rep as, as well as a, a very handy club player. So he could inject a bit of interest into the uh, second half once he's on. And it's funny, as you, you hear these, uh, these objections to getting another team in Queensland and saying there's not enough players. And I, you know, I've heard Wayne Bennett say it before, but I just don't agree with it. There's so much talent untapped talent in this state let alone New South Wales and in any of the other states even over in WA and you know I, I think another Queensland NRL team would be would be really good and I think there's enough talent you know I know, I know even where I'm from our Charvel, Kanamala out there there's plenty of talent out there that you know could get an opportunity as well. Yeah I always found that with the expansion argument I get the money side of it when people say you know we might not have, a, have enough to, to grant clubs and for it to go around but I think talent wise you've, you know it, I think it's a poor argument that you can't, you say we spread it too thin if we add another two teams because that talent is definitely there uh, and the way the salary cap works you, you spread that out anyway so um, we've seen a number of people who've, who've clung on in interest Super Cup over the years and they finally get a go and they don't look out of place yeah, in well, the NRL There's enough people in the interest Super Cup they can step up the NRL, they just haven't got an opportunity. I know for years it happened on the Gold Coast. I'd see blokes either playing for Burley or Tweed who, who couldn't get a run for, for the Titans, but they were good enough to play NRL, and a lot of those players end up you know, moving away to, to get that opportunity, but there's certainly plenty of talent in the, in the Interest Super Cup. That just reminded me, it's worth a mention, so after today's uh, under-18s national final that we're bringing you now live on qrl.com.au, uh, we also have the Intrust Super Cup game between Redcliffe and the Northern Pride from 1.10pm, which will be a good game. Uh, very talented sides. Uh, Redcliffe 
near the top of the ladder. Uh, Northern Pride have been rocked by the departure of Todd Carney, but still very strong side with Jake Clifford leading them round. At the same time, well, half an hour later at 1.30 p.m., Tweed Heads are taking on Ipswich at Pigamine Oval and in a big coup for the uh, Intra Super Cup, Conrad Hurrell, uh, Tongan International, all-round personality of the game will be making his Intra Super Cup debut for the Tweed Heads Seagulls. But alongside him will also be the likes of Kane Elgi and Leilani Latu. So that's a star-studded uh, Tweed side. And, and on the other side of the coin, Ipswich Jets probably the most entertaining team in the competition. So if you're, you're down that Gold Coast way uh, today, heading out to the beach or you live down there, I'd definitely pop out to the Pickabean Complex at, at 1.30 and have a chance to catch some players that you know, you'd be paying top dollar to see otherwise. Yeah, well, the CEO of Tweed, Paul Stevenson, rang me yesterday to see if I'd go down and present the jersey today at uh, Tweed because I'm a Tweed Seagulls old, old boy. They were my first club when I came from Charleville, and, um, but, but I'm, uh, I'm here in Redcliffe, so I couldn't do it. But uh, it's, it's sort of really getting that old boys feel back in the club and the history of, of the Tweed Seagulls club, which we know is very rich over the years. At one stage, well, when I was at Tweed Seagulls back in the late 80s, uh, they were the richest club in Australia, yep. um, you know, and with the poker machines. But and they're one the of the oldest clubs in Australia, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're, they are nearly the oldest. Mm. Yeah, they um, and great. There's so many great players over the years that have played for them. And, uh, you know, they've got a lot of younger players. And I just hope, you know, the, um, the players that go back there really lift and, and play well f for the Tweed Seagulls. So either... Um, We've enjoyed talking too much. Well, that was an awfully short half time because uh, it seems to have passed quickly and they're back on the field. I think we're used to the NRL one. They're about 20 minutes these days, aren't they? Jeez, they, they seem to go forever. South Logan with the kickoff. So a chance to establish some defensive pressure early. They'd be uh, hoping not to give away any penalties from the restart because Penrith with that 22-12 uh, advantage they could finish uh, over the top if they start full of running. Tanner Boyd will have the restart here. They, they, they would like the same result from the kickoff, I reckon, to, to start the second half, the South Logan Magpies. Hi, Daniel. And you'd have to say by numbers here, Tanner Boyd's going to send this to his left side Maybe of the on, field. Guys. Behind the ball! Be interesting where the sun is sitting in terms of the, the uh, attacking team receiving the ball. Yeah, and you can see there that was a bit of a uh, bit of a guess at the air, but well taken in the end. Mark is in square. Penrith, can they power forward as they did in the first half? Met with defence by Bailey Bartley there. That's number three, Matthew Fayula. And following up, nice advantage line running there. Tries to tuck in behind the ruck. Next to me, David. Hold. Lost the body. That was a uh, pretty pretty average play, the ball there. And the referee's possibly got the word and he's, he's pulled it back and said that's going to be a penalty. Oh, he's reversed his decision. Initially was saying that the uh, man playing the ball had been interfered with, but now he's saying he didn't make an effort. I thought he lost the footy um, when I first saw it, but... Um, it's a penalty, mate. You got the call. So this is a really good start here for for the South Logan Magpies. They'll get a good kick here. Yeah, tap, tap that or kick it. They need to make touch. We'll see in the replay. I think this is a bit of six six of one, half a dozen the other. Okay. It's a good call. He didn't stand up to play the ball. So that's a right call. Good refereeing. Callum McDonald takes his first hit up. Three men over him. Probably need a kick for touch there. Strange. Cruise 10 works back to the middle. He's a tough little fella. He will go all day, that is for certain. And Bailey Bartley finds Tanner Boyd out. Boyd testing him back on the inside. He's very strong too, Tanner Boyd. He's not, he's not just fast, he's strong. Definitely doesn't look like he misses the weights room. Oh. Ani Sawuli under a bit of pressure receiving that ball, but you do have to take those ones. Yeah, I just think uh, probably the option there, it's easier to sit here in the grandstand and, and say what the right option is, but maybe just hang on to it. Just get your yardage first. You know, create the yards. Yeah. Play the simple footy. Get back into the game. 
Yeah, so we uh, we saw that Penrith successfully got South Logan backpedalling and, and really fatigued them, which is what South Logan need to do in return. Taking the ball one off the ruck, one off the scrum. So that's number five, Ethan Clark Wood. And he's from uh, Norellan in Group 6 competition. Good defence. And dragged over the sideline there. This is going to give South Logan the ball. If they uh, finish the scrum successfully, they'll give them good position 35 metres out on the left edge. This is where yeah, the Harbs have got to really say to their, to their players, take control, we need to complete our set here. We need to get some pressure and put the pressure on, on Penrith. We can't give away cheap ball. It was really good defence. Showed him the sideline. Still a long way away from the sideline, mind you. And that's a good defence. Uh, Karatuana working hard there. The scrum's twisted a little here. And you can see Penrith's not fully binding here, so the refs making them play by the letter of the law, which I guess is their job. Thank you. So the feed for feeder from the base of the scrum. He's taking them on. I was say, should have been a penalty. It was good refereeing. And this goes back to what you were saying just a minute ago. For feeder holds the ball, takes on the line. He does earn them a penalty or earns them the uh, good advantage run. in the ruck. Cruise 10 was my favourite last week, but Callum McDonald's my favourite this week. Oh, <laughs> oh nice <laughs> offload. All right, he might be favourite again. I'll have two favourites. Tanner Boyd from dummy half. Karatawana. Nice. And he's found Vincent Tucker Tucker hanging off his hip there for the try. South Logan storming back into it. Well, it was a nice little offload by Cruz 10. It was a nice run before that by Callum McDonald. Then Cruz 10. Nice long ball from the half. But look at that nice ball. There's not much of Karatawana, but he, att he attracts defenders the yeah, way he yeah. slides through. He, he straightens the play up. That's what I like about him. And in then he got his nose through and it was a nice ball. And he looks dangerous when he runs. He really does. And that was a nice pass selection and good comeback uh, by the South Logan Magpies. And just exactly what they needed. And now all of a sudden that score line is 22 points to 16 with a kick to come. Good positioning by Tucker Tucker too. He knew where he needed to be. This is a long ball here, Rob. Nice long ball. That just beats four defenders straight away. Oh, and you can see that defenders really rushed out of the line. Shot up over the line. and Yeah, nice ball early on from Tanner Boyd. Gave them the space out wide. And Karajana did the rest. So I believe uh, Tucker Tucker is previously from Canterbury Bankstown. He's come the other way. And the conversion is good by Tanner Boyd. Now we've got a game on. So four-point ball game. Yeah, Tucker Tucker, he's, uh, we mentioned uh, earlier, was a junior rep discus thrower. So got a bit of power, a bit of centrifugal force behind that frame. A bit of what? That was a big word. We banned from the, the rugby league commentary box after that one. Yeah, yeah. Good take. Callum McDonald, wind it up. Nice. Good defence as well to meet him, but good run. Good yards he made as well. That's better. You see those plays now where the athletic island plays, they jump over the top of the defenders. It looks like Callum McDonald could just stride over the top. Cruise 10 with the shrug. And he set that, he set that um, set up perfectly for feeder on the back of that and then cruise 10 on the back of that three good runs and a nice run out of Go, dummy half yeah. that's all they're needing to do against the retreating defense find the elbows and knees and get out of there penetrate behind the ruck Go down the left side there's plenty of space on the left I'd like to see for feet off a slightly lo slightly longer run up get the power going He's always looking for the offload, Cruz 10. Tessie knew with the grubber through, but that's well cleaned up by the halfback, Bonanno. Probably just need to kick it a bit harder and just 
Zachary this is where the Sini working them out of trouble. Really defend well here and put the pressure on try and force the error here from Penrith. Now all of a sudden for the first time in this game, Penrith are under a little bit of pressure. They found an edge here, but Tanabowitz cut him down with Suli on the outside. Crichton is a very big, very big uh, young fellow, isn't he? He's massive. Looks like he's not 100% on that leg that's strapped though. He's, he's stiffening up a bit a couple of times there. And I did mention that earlier the um, injuries to Penrith suffered by their captain and vice captain, Lindsay Smith and Spencer Leonard. Penrith were saying that there wasn't much left in the bag. They've got injuries all the way through the squad. So they came up here basically with the 17 they had left. In comparison, South Logan had a, a squad of 50. They kind of whittled their way down to uh, the players that you see out of there today through the course of a tough off-season program. But uh, both of these teams represent junior uh, nurseries, where, which are very talented. South Logan stretch, stretches all the way out through that Logan corridor, which is uh, renowned for providing a lot of state of origin players. And Penrith, all through the west of Sydney, again, very rich history of. Uh, oh, oh. Too easy. number four, Stephen Crichton. Talked about how big he was. It was just probably poor defence, but he beat about four defenders there to go through. Pretty much untouched near the end, at the end. end Watch up. the replay here. It drops him under, and then it's just poor defence, grabbing with the arms, two grabs. An easy try. It's has to be disappointed with that, but a good comeback from Penrith and, and that man Crichton. So we are 26 points to 18. Crichton to line up and try and convert his own try. Winding the clock down a little. You see the jump out of dummy half. They're already on the back foot, South. And then McDonald's reached out without committing the shoulder. Steve, is it? Just Ali next Bartley to the post, mate. Where couldn't contain him, and then uh, it was a Thank tangle you. of bodies after that. Was that, was that you? And then he looked pretty pleased. <laughs> I'd say so. He, uh, probably for the fact that Jeff also he knows start, he's mate. a goal kicker uh, and he's just scored uh, right beside really the post, so that makes it a little bit so easier to, yeah, to okay. kick. So he's, he's been a little bit off centre today with the kicks. They've a couple of just snuck inside the post and one waved away early. But this is his in good position, slightly off the centre of the black dot. Ten metres out. He'll work his way in. And struck well. 28-18, so it's a 10-point point ball game again. There's just not much to do. It's just a, just a little drop-off play. But it was just the arms, arms tackles. Probably not working hard enough on the inside. Just someone needed to just hit him alone. Just listen to my voice, mate. I'll tell you when. Stay behind, guys. Behind the ball! The wind's picked up again. Will they be able to grab a hold of it with this kick? I'll tell you what, that's perfectly placed. It's floated. Oh! oh. Oh! oh, sensational! <laughs> the ball's bounced. Ezra Coulson with his second try of the game. The rugby okay. league ball, you've got to love it. It held up perfectly in that wind. And then I was thinking it was going to bounce back towards South, but it bounced the other way. Good follow through from Coulston. What a comeback. <laughs> if you want one to come off like that, you'd like it to be in a final. Oh, you watch this. It's just sits perfectly right in, found space, and then just bounces up. Coulson said, thank you very much. You won't get much easier than that. It looked a little bit like the uh, Michael Jennings regather last night there? off the kick. Uh. They let it bounce twice, and he sped straight through. Yeah, that's a good kick. You know what? You, you, you always hear the Ipswich Jets and the Walker brothers talking about it. And my wife said to me one day, why, when they kick off, why do they just kick off to the bloke that's going to catch it? Yep. And you know what? Why? <laughs> I can never understand it. I know you're trying to go long, but find space. There's so much space. And that's what can happen. Oh, 
I reckon there's a lot of uh, a lot of ground to be made in terms of drilling the ball low for the sideline. Uh, it's very, you know, people hate touching the ball if it's going fast along the ground. And if you can get it over the sideline, you get the ball back. So going back to England, and all the time over there used to be short kickoffs or those balls kicked towards the, the sideline. You always expected the unexpected. That's a ah, nice away. Just pulls away in the last minute. If it was a golf shot, you wouldn't be too unhappy with it, but it's outside the big H, so the score will stay 28 to 22. If that was my golf shot, I'd be cheering. If that was mine, it would have found the bay, and we're probably two kilometres from the bay. I always like to say I see a lot of the golf course for my money. Oh, guys. That's a tough kick, too. Oh, and Tessie knew well cleaned up. On. And it's Tucker Tucker Move with the together. ball. Here and hold, go one. Big ten, mate. Yeah, and out the ten back, they've gone wide early. Tanner Boyd feeds it to Fafita. Fafita's got the palm going. Hold it. Hold oh, it. no, but he's fed it to his opposition player. Luke Peru. Just needed to hold that go. They made the half break. Get down, quick play the ball. Penrith could make him pay here. And this was the field where uh, David Fafita played for uh, Australia at the Commonwealth Championships and did quite well uh, against grown men in that comp. So maybe he's trying to reignite nice that. But ball. huge overlap nice there. Ball. They've worked that well. Trying the corner, Ethan Clark Wood. Thank you. And that's what happens when you, you come up with an error in your own quarter. And Penrith are, are too good a side not to make you pay. They really are a good side. And you, you said before they're missing the captain and vice captain, which is a big loss. But I tell you what, these blokes they're filling in are doing a great job. This number 11 here, Nonavu. Yeah, he nice sets that up really. Long. He creates the space. Nice try, Ethan Clark Wood. They well. like this 10 point. Advantage, don't they? Oh. Every time that Souths creep closer, they push them back again. Well, try for try here. What, what's going to happen on this next kick off? I guarantee you, Penrith will defend the space a little bit better. We're, um, so, try for, try a here, for a kicker such as Crichton with the, the left foot boot, this is a, a very tough one to take. But we saw Tanner Boyd uh, manage to get the ball curved back in with the wind play. last time. Keep that info coming uh, in the first half from a similar position. Luke Peru in that replay is the one that's got the ball off for feeder. He's had a big game too, Peru, actually up front. That's and then that's just Nonavu here. He just straightens the play up. He, he creates a space. Nice ball out the back on to Crichton. And I don't want to feel as though we're, we're picking on Dave Fafita. And in all fairness, he's probably going to become 100 times a better player than, than I ever was. Um, but we saw a little bit this week and last week. He, he does a few things that aren't necessarily a team play yeah. um, that the coach might want him to put away and just focus on what he does well, which is running hard, bumping people off, finding yeah. space, get the quick play the ball for the next man in. Which he, he did do, do that in that run. He just felt he had to get it away. but. If he, if he plays that ball, that's a quick play the ball. Probably going to get a penalty because they're all offside. Instead, they uh, lose the ball and uh, now and, and Penrith made the play. So, as you see, Crichton missed the conversion, so it does stay 32-22. And that's that's a good tackle there. Mossy Takiri, I believe. Nice, nice and tight in with the shoulder. Penrith, though, driving hard through this middle section. They turn to Kiri round. Cruz 10 cleaning up. I like Trindle's uh, work ethic here today as well. He's been great out of dummy half. There's a good background story here. So, Morris Trindle, who we mentioned, is son of Craig oh, Trindle. Great tackle there. Amosi to Kiri. Uh, he actually led a junior All-Stars game and got to play against... Uh, 
Darren Lockyer, Benji Marshall, Josh Dugan, a whole bunch of stars. In oh, oh, what a take. Spectacular. That is one of the best takes you'll ever see in rugby league. He never took his eye off the ball. And I, when I was watching it live, I thought they're going to run into each other and possibly knock each other out. It reminded me of the old uh, Gillespie and Steve War collision yeah, in the yeah. outfield. That was a good take. Sorry, mate, I uh, got all excited there with that. <laughs> that was sensational. No matter what level of footy you're at, that's uh, that's gutsy. Oh, that was a good take. It could have ended bad. And Mossy Takiri, he's, he's come into his own in this second half. Bailey Bartley. Certainly playing some big minutes this week compared to last, Bailey. He's been good. The one stains for Penrith. Yep. Really likes what he brings in attack. He brings the ball back at speed. Looks dangerous. Yeah, as we say, him and him and number six, Matt Burton, come from that country academy. And you suspect they wouldn't bring them in from where they live unless they had a high opinion and they thought they were going to go on with things. So... Could be a name to watch for the future, Charlie Staines. And from what we've seen of Matt Burton, he's uh, also of that similar level. Oh, they've left plenty of space behind the play. The ball, last tackle. Tanner Boyd, great take. Kenny McCaws is offload nice. there. Oh. Junior Finau. Nice, good tackle good. too. Good maturity too. Play the ball. Work for the next man. Fanatesi New. Laban made a try saver, really. The 14's just come on for Penrith. And another tackle there by him. Sadie Sub Laban. I've actually watched a fair bit of him play junior footy. Oh. He's, oh. He's a terrible ball from Domi Ha. It's a bit of a let off. That's a momentum killer. Yeah, Sadie Sublaban, he's only slight, but he's a good controller of play. He comes from, uh, I believe he was born in Israel, but his family's from Africa. And he plays for Africa United, um, which is one of those emerging nations teams. I believe Africa United's probably going to be an area we see huge growth in rugby league in the next 10 to 20 years off the back of all the, uh, the refugees and migration that we've yeah. had in Australia and, and just basically the game spreading to different parts of the world that are suited to the sport. Which is great, and that's what you want to see with the game. You want to see it played in as many areas as countries as possible. Um. And uh, the home of the Redcliffe Dolphins, where we're at today, they do have Obed Carwin, who's the captain of Africa United, and he's the one um, born in Ivory Coast, had to uh, migrate his way through the jungle, I think it was for a period of something like 30 or 40 days, and... Uh, then he got well, refugee got status in Australia and, you know, I think he left behind a whole heap of his family over there and had to escape with his cousin. So you admire anyone that comes through that sort of um, adversity and, you know, we can only ever, not any, I think we'd, we'd think we have a tough sometimes, but that's nothing in comparison. But back with the footy in play, National Under-18's final, Penrith Panthers leading the South Logan Magpies 32 to 22. And Paul Karatawana shutting down play here. But the Penrith Panthers with the ascendancy. Uh, Sublaban into hooker. And number 16, Braden McGelly. He's the one uh, they mentioned earlier to watch out for. He's a bit of a power runner. Under 15 Australian schoolboys merit squad. And a few videos of him floating around and powering through. Same time, tackle four. Referee says simultaneous Simon offload Simon with the tackle, four. so Subliman sends it to his right. Magelli with another run. I'm going to come up with a man of the match today too, Rob. There's been plenty to choose from. It's going to be tough. I'm always a fan of people that lay the platform early because that's a hard part of the game. So I think for me... Oh, nice intercept. Does Fafita have enough toe? He's a second right. rower. He's got a fin. He's got oh, a fin. Stain, see you later. Fafita around the back. Oh. oh, and another fin for, for good measure. I knew it was coming. He's Man. been testing that edge. And that's a, that's a decent run. He is a decent run, mate. 
and he left his pen, which people who like to use a pen, they leave it to the very last second. He did it perfectly, even gave one at the end. There's an intercept as well. So Burton with the kick out wide. Oh, no, Batted back in. Yeah, it was an intercept. Yeah. And just space. So he, he's for had a big to cover, man. what, 70 metres there? Here it comes. Bush. Yeah, Jake's not busy. <laughs> he's, he's almost reversed. <laughs> hey, sorry. And again. Jake's not busy with like a drink. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's he's just done that last one for extra super yeah. coach points, I think. <laughs> and that's his, he's just, you know, he is a big man. If you stand beside him, he's a big human being for such a young fella. And he is quick. So that's an athlete right there. And, and that's why he's dangerous when he Jack runs the field. Yeah. So Penrith's advantage has been cut to 32 yeah, 26. You read it well. And yeah, I'll get, to, I'll get to Penrith 11. Stains did well. He just went a little bit too high on him. At that scrum there, but we'll get to him when we can. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Just make sure you're aware of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll just keep comment him. Kick here out for out of him. Yeah, okay. Tanner Boyd would certainly put him in good stead. Cut the margin to four. As we were saying with Crichton's earlier kick, it's, it's not easy when you've got that foot and you've got a kick from the side of the field. So he's right footer kicking from the very right hand edge of the field. He's been reasonably on target today. Bree's not bothering too much at the moment. He's gone for the curve, but oh. a bit too much. Started a bit too wide. Mm. Watch the replay here again. The kick was a nice kick, batted back, which is what they did early on. But it was just well intercepted and then just hit the afterburner for feeder. A couple of fends. Got a bit of momentum off that fend. One for good measure. Behind the ball. Try, nice try. Six point ball game. <laughs> 11 minutes to go. Could we be headed for extra time? Whoa, he's called it early. Oh, my God. He puts his foot over the back line. I think. Nice kick. Move together! Marcus! Hold. Okay, South Logan's turn to drive it out. He started a little flat-footed there, but he's taken four defenders. One's dropped off now. They've slowed that play the ball down successfully. Out the back. Tanner Boyd. They will have to watch him. This is the period of the game where him and Tessie New start to uh, shine. He will take them on as well, and that's the beauty of, of the way he plays. He asks questions. Well, Mossy Takiri, great offload to Cruz 10, but... Penrith have done well to shut him down without much advantage gained. And Tessie New turns for Feeder underneath, holds on to the ball. Feeder said, I've just ran 80 metres, give me a break. Jet Trembath with the kick out of Hooker. Nice kick as well. Finds flat ground, and that's given the defence a chance to uh, encroach. Good tackle. Good defence. They've lifted now. He had a good game last last week, Jet Trimbar. Yep. The nine for South. We were we're talking about players of the match. I have really liked Ernie Surly this week. He's um, done more than his fair share of work, both in attack and defence. He's been strong, hasn't he? Winding up, big run through the middle. He's been good as well. Law, I've been really impressed with the work, his workload and, and the amount of yards that he makes. And also the nine. Good kick in behind Manano. He's lost his footing there, Tessie New, but uh, Junior Finau is going to come in and back him up. Dummy half. Skips out. I want to hold on to this ball, keep it tight. Nice run. Tanner Boyd. Good run there, Ezra Coulston. Backs up, they'll need a good set and a long kick out. Levi Sutton. There's that strong leg drive again that we've mentioned a few times. Fast play the ball. Oh, you, that would be touch and go, I'd say. No marker. Tanner Boyd. That's off a player. They'll put his runners on side. Ooh. I've also been impressed with Staines. Of... 
Uh, so referees stop that for a head clash. Tanner Boyd involved, but I uh, believe he's all right now. Doesn't look like anything too serious. Sublaban's found them napping, and he's cut back through the middle. Fafita brings him down with Junior Finn Albert. That's a, that's a telling penalty. Eight minutes to go, six points behind. You want those ones going in your favour. In the Magpies camp, defence win, wins matches, and this has got to be a big defensive set. If they want to win this game, they've got to come up with something big in this defensive set. The, the fitness of the Magpies has been referenced several times through this campaign, and now's the time for it to show. Very strong run there, Luke Peru. He was last year's um, SG best and fairest. SG ball best and fairest for the um, Kenwood side. Bonanno finds a runner, good angles there. Going. Testing Locked the right the ball, side. Six and square. Will they right. come back and use Go the three. open side? They do. Chase Chapman. Burton wide. 11 That's unable to get the ball, ball away this ball. time. Go play on his square marker. Four. Oh, Peru, another strong run. Takes a power of stopping, but he's held up. It's going to be last tackle. Time out, last tackle. Eight, right. Timeout, last tackle, and they'll have to play this 10 metres out, just to the left of the post. Bonanno, will he put it along the ground? He does. Levi Sutton. He's dangerous from here, Levi Sutton. He's dangerous. Oh. Good return. Every game I've watched him play, he does exactly what he's asked of. So now centre of the field, 40 metres out. Should have been a penalty. Good, good palm off there. Now we're on halfway. South Logan, one of these last couple of opportunities they'll have with five minutes left on the clock. Tessie New, will he palm him off? Karatuana, hold it. Yes, he does. And go left here. If they go left, they'll score. Wrong way. Oh, he's trying to find Finnell. Touchdown! As they'd say. Oh, went the right way, actually. <laughs> nice kick from Tanner Boyd. Summed it up perfectly. They did have the numbers on their left. He looked like he was going to run it, but then he saw the space. He saw Finnell out there in a beautifully placed kick. From Tanner Boyd. You could see he summed up about three options in his head there. He was, he was weighing it up, but took the right one. Well, yeah, he looked at him. I'm going to go, look like he was just going to run straight, but nice take and in the air, get down and come down to that defensive set down the back end at the other end of the field. They needed to hold Penrith out, which they did. Good thing uh, Junior Finnell's growing that windsock out the back of his hair. You can, you can tell which way it's blowing perfectly and get those high kicks. <laughs> Technology today. Amazing. I'm just jealous. We're just jealous, probably. Yeah. That's a nice run here that set it up. Tessie New. Nice inside ball to Karatoana. And here, I thought they should go left their numbers, but... Tanner Boyd goes, whoops, oh, nice kick. Well read, good try. Now a kick to even the scores from the sideline. This is what goal kickers love, don't they? But maybe a little bit closer. <laughs> Although if you're closer. You don't get to brag as much afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And then you also expect to kick them. I back him in. I think he'll learn from the last kick. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a bounce off the black dot and over. Geez, that curved some, didn't it? Wasn't it? Well, we might be going to extra time just as you predicted. There's a little bit more left in this game. There's too many good players in this Penrith team to not finish this off strong that's a kick hits the crossbar 
I just love that it's a close game of footy. Both teams. That ball really could have gone either way. Really shown the potential. Good run. They're full of vigor now. That's a run, Azar Runga Itty. He was good, strong last week. Runga Itty. Trembath back controlling them in the middle. Oh, nice run again. Hold Lance Bag on hold. Yep. Trembath back into hooker. Cruz 10 follows up. <laughs> Big how's your father over the top there? He just goes as strong at the start, strong as the end as he was at the start. And Karatawana testing them more on that left side. You imagine they're going to find Tanner Boyd here. Ball goes wide to him. Set for Lance Bagon. Is he going for the one? Oh. The last tackle. Oh, no, left behind by Tessie New. And the six, Burton's free. He's offloaded. Good cover there by Suli. That's where your halves need to take control, get to that kick. Oh, Jace Van Dyke could be ropeable, I imagine, there. He was a proponent of the field goal. Yeah, he was, and this puts them in perfect position. Penrith, as I said, they've got too many good players in this side. Cruz 10 locks him up. Crichton's getting in close. Yeah, well, big body to get the yards. You can see the Penrith trainers, they've come out, two of them there, so you imagine the word about what they want to see happen here. I think Banana is going to be the man. He might even do it. Yeah, they're throwing the ball around a lot. This could be dangerous. Stains up the middle, gets lifted by Cruz 10. Uh, set. Oh, it looks like Bernardo's up for it. Oh, charge down off Trembath. Oh, ball's bounced. No. He'll need to clean this up. Oh. Levi Sutton, and the ball's out the back for a drop goal. Gosh. The drop out. <laughs> this has got everything this game. Watch the replay. It goes for the, the field goal. Jet Trembath, not the tallest guy on the field either, but he's got to that. That's what you want a competitor. Game of inches on both ends of the field. I reckon that it looked good off the boot, that kick. Oh, nice drop out. What can they come up with here? South want a good defensive effort. Penrith want good field position, which they're getting. They'll just roll up the middle here. Peru is strong game. Struggled off Lance Bagon. He's, he's taken a heap to stop there. They're in perfect position for a field goal again here. Staines receives it, sends it wide to Burton. Jink back up the middle. He reaches out and... I think, oh, he's, I think they'll go now. Held up. They've got to get to him now. This is going to be the play. Another charge down. Time has run Six out on the clock. Go. Six to go. The referee was saying there's still some time in it. Sini. Penrith still got some tackles up their sleeve. Peru with a big charge. He wants to finish this in one play by himself. There it is. No. Out of hooker. Sini's got the ball. Can he pass? Oh, he stepped through. Match winner on full time by Zachary Sini. Penrith Panthers are going to be your national under-18s champions. That makes it 36-32 with a kick to come. Just like last week in the uh, Mel Meninga Cup final, it's been an entertaining final. Very deserving. A great uh, exhibition of the two teams. Men of the match. It's a tough one. It certainly is. There's some really good players today. What a win by, by Penrith. They've come here under, under man, as you said, lost their captain, lost their, their vice captain. And uh, after a little bit of consultation, we're uh, going to award the... Uh, player of the match to hooker Maurice Trindle from Penrith. Uh, as we saw, he really controlled things uh, over the duration of that game and 
it was that running through the middle that he set up. We mentioned uh, some of those forwards. Luke Peru did a heap of running. Patrick Nakori set them up early. The halves did a good job as well. Um, the back row, you couldn't fault them either. And uh, Sean Bloor, who we said a leader of this side, he did his job. But uh, in a tough pool where everyone did their, uh, did their role, Maurice Trindle will be our pick of the game. Yeah, he did good. I thought he was good out of dummy half and really asked a number of questions and just got the ball where it needed to go as we see this kick. And the conversion. So Salt into the wound, rubbed by Penrith. Penrith Panthers, who last week beat the Bulldogs 25-14 in the New South Wales SG Ball Final. They've now accounted for South Logan 38-32 with a try right on full time. And you can see they're in raptures for South Logan. Heartbreak after finishing Queensland champions at the Mel Meninga Cup final. You're here today from Dolphin Oval. We'll follow this with the Channel 9 match of the round for the Intra Super Cup between Redcliffe Dolphins and the Northern Pride. But I'd like to thank my co-commentator, Adrian Vowles, for accompanying me here today in the box. Always good, mate. I really enjoyed it. And what a great game of footy to, to commentate. The game's in good hands with this level of talent rising through. So thank you, viewers, for joining us today. We'll uh, head down today and plenty more football to come. As we mentioned, Intra Super Cup happening around the state and plenty of other local league games. So get down to your local ground and support football at any level. Thanks for your time. From qrl.com.au, see you next time.